Hi everybody, I'm back. It's time for Facebook Friday. I have been gone for several weeks on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip and hopefully you caught my two previous pre-recorded Facebook Fridays. Um, I really wanted to leave you guys with projects each week and um, hopefully you found them. So uh, if not, go back on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll find them the last two Fridays, you'll find them. Hi, Gina, thanks so much. Yes, so um, I am back from the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. It was amazing. I mean, there's no other way to describe a trip with Stampin' Up! A trip to Greece, of course, is gonna be amazing, but a trip with Stampin' Up! is doubly amazing because you're with friends, um, a bunch of people who all love Stampin' Up! and who have earned it too, so there's that level of excitement. And second, they give you tons of stuff tons of stuff. Um, so that's always what, what uh, really makes it exciting. Um, my husband and I, we've gone on a few cruises um, and done other trips, of course, that weren't Stampin' Up! and we're always kind of like, eh, you know, it was fun, but there were no pillow gifts. <laughs> So Stampin' Up! really spoils us and really just knows how to um, make it very special. So this one was no uh, less special than any of the others. And Greece itself was totally breathtaking and amazing. We had great weather. It was very, very hot the first few days. And everybody says, well, you should be used to the hot. Okay, well, yes, I live somewhere that's very hot. But... I don't go out in it, you guys. If you live in a hot place, you know, just like those of you that live in a cold place, you stay inside. You don't go and stand in the heat in the middle of giant, you know, old architecture. So I was very hot. Yes, I'm used to the heat running from my car to the grocery store or sitting in the pool, but you know, standing out in the heat when you're trying to look cute and you're trying to have fun, that's, that's not fun for anybody. So it was very hot the first two days, um, but then like, a cold front or something came through and it was beautiful. The, the last two days were crisp almost. Um, I, I wouldn't say cool, but very different. When we were at the Acropolis, it was just, there was this beautiful breeze coming in and out. So the weather was great for the second half. And of course, when you're out at sea um, on a ship, there's always a breeze, so that's good. And yes, I did see there was an earthquake um, this morning. I saw that there was a, I think, 5.1 earthquake in Greece. Um, we have kind of a, I don't want to call it a joke, but this running weirdness that happens every time we go somewhere, something bad happens after we leave. Um, in Nice, um, a couple, maybe like a month after we were in Nice, there was that terrorist attack. Um, and then same with Barcelona, terrorist attack. After Thailand, it was that awful, those little boys um, were stuck in a cave. Um, in Alaska, I can't remember, I think there was an earthquake too. It's weird. My mom said she was watching the news waiting to see what was going to happen in Greece <laughs> because we had gone there. So it's not funny, but it is kind of weird. We were, we were for sure. My daughter actually, um, my oldest daughter was in California the whole time we were in Greece. She was on a mission trip and they had just had that really big earthquake. So I was actually watching the earthquake. There's a website that you can watch that shows you earthquakes as minute by minute all around the world and so I was watching to see if there were any while she was there and I noticed that there were some in northern Greece I think it was like the day we were leaving so I'm actually not surprised that there was a bigger one in Athens but anyways thank you for joining me today before I flip the camera around I'm going to spend some time um, showing you all the goodies we got including the uh, uh, not annual, the holiday catalog. Um, the dates on this, and I haven't even looked, it'll um, go live September 4th. So I'll show you all the things we got from this. Um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators get to order from the holiday catalog early, but that hasn't even started. So those of you who want me to send you one, don't worry, it's still way too early for that, but I will. Um, demonstrators will be able to order from this catalog August 1st, customers September 4th. Okay, um, and I'm, you know I'm gonna remind you that buying the starter kit is an exceptional deal always, but one of the best perks is the fact that you get to order from this early in August. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a little while. Before I turn the camera around though, let me just do prizes. So three weeks ago, I was live and I said I would give away the well-written or well-said bundle. This is a big prize 
to one person who shared that video, and the winner is Lisa Keen. Lisa, Lisa has won prizes before. She's always sharing my videos. Lisa, thank you so much. I believe I have your mailing address, and as long as nothing has changed, I will get it out to you tomorrow. If you have changed your address, let me know. So thank you. And of course, this week is no different. I did not set up a raffle copter. I'm just gonna pick two people next week who shared this video, and guess what I'm giving away? <laughs> Garden goodness. The one we did back at the beginning of July. Okay, so I'll pick two winners next Friday to win Garden Goodness. All you have to do is share the video. Um, speaking of next week, Facebook Friday, we're iffy about next week. I am planning on doing my online BOGO sale towards the end of next week. And Friday's real weird because we've got camp pickups. So I'm not sure what Facebook Friday is going to look like next week, you guys. So stay tuned, especially if you've been waiting for my BOGO sale, okay? Anyway, anyway, share this. The next time I'm live, I will pick a winner. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Live before, I typically do three projects and I will send them to you for free if you put in an order, minimum $30 between now and Monday at midnight. Well, this week is no different. Um, this is what they look like. Whoops, dropped one of them. This is what they look like when they come to you. They're packed and ready. Has a link to the video so when you get it, you can make it at home and those are free. This is like my card class every week, free with a purchase. And I am more than happy to send you today's three projects for free if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight and you use the host code, which you'll see in a minute when I turn the camera around. Um, okay, let's see, do, 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 do prizes. I've got stuff all over the place. I think we're ready to switch the camera around. Looks like we've got a big group today. Hello, everybody who said hello. Um, oops, my comments are on silent, that's not good. I'm gonna flip you around to close your eyes if you don't like this part. Um, Greece was amazing. And when I say that, you guys, it feels not right. Like it doesn't feel like those are the right words for me to use when I say Greece was amazing. Greece was stunning, um, gorgeous, beautiful, fabulous. I, I just, I had been really looking forward to this trip for a very long time and it was just really awesome. Um, when you earn the incentive trip with Stamping Up, they pay for you and a guest. So my husband went and uh, we met up with friends. We didn't take the kids this time, um, which is makes for a much better <laughs> trip. I mean, my kids love to go on the incentive trips, you guys, but come on, you know, as a mom, a trip with your kids is a whole different trip than a trip without your kids. So we just felt like this one was one to not take the kids on. And we probably won't take them to Maui either. But anyways, here are our little name tags. Um, here's the little logo you can see that um, we got before we got on the ship. They're filthy now because we <laughs> wore them every day. And then I don't even know where to start, you guys. What to show you first. Let's see. I'll start with these bags. Every day when you go back to your room in the evening, there was a pillow gift on your bed. And I believe this was the first one. We got this super cute little bag. Um, it's like a canvas bag. And inside, I, and I don't remember what we got each day, so forgive me. I'm just gonna start showing you stuff. Um, inside each bag would be some kind of um, pillow gift. So, I'm trying to get all of this so it doesn't all fall apart. Um, here is the door tag that was hanging on our door. Notice mine got caught in the door and broke. I'm super sad about that, but I'm gonna hang it up behind me on my cabinets. I like to save those. And then let's see, I, I guess I have all the bags in here. Whoops, sorry you guys. Here's one of the little bags that we got. Cute tags with it, perfect. This one said exquisite. And I used the clips to hang my bathing suit on the deck. <laughs> They came in really handy. Um, let's see, this one. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember getting this one. What was in this one? It's huge. I have no idea. I don't remember. It's beautiful. I love getting these little reusable bags. Okay, let's see. Here's some of the paper that we got. A lot of the prizes that we got were um, from the upcoming holiday catalog. And this paper is called Twall Tidings. And I will have to say that this is probably my favorite paper. 
in the catalog. It's very basic red and green. Hello, buffalo check, and then twall, which I love. Some stripes. It just makes it simple. You don't have to try to pull in a bunch of colors when, when you just have a monochromatic. And I love traditional Christmas colors, red and green. So my favorite paper for sure. Um, here's another one now, you guys. The You know how I feel about Halloween. Love it. Love, love, love it. Love pumpkins and fall and all of that. So if you're like me, you're going to love the selection in this catalog with um, the pumpkins and the Halloween and fall stuff. This paper is called Come Together. So we've got pumpkins and a gingham. Gingham's everywhere. I love this paper. It reminds me of school writing paper that we had, you know, when we were kids. That's not what it is, but every time I look at it, that's what I think of. Um, and then this really cute plaid. I believe this is Pretty Peacock. The color. More pumpkins. That rusty color. Some great uh, wood. And then a good, don't those look good together? A little burlappy polka dot and more of the, the rust color. So that's the second paper. Um, one day, another way you get free stuff is you go in the hospitality room and they have tons of candy, first of all, which I, it blows my mind how they keep the candy full. Like they never run out of candy with everybody coming in there and getting it. But anyway, the hospitality room, you go in there, you grab candy and you spin a prize wheel and you get something um, each day from the prize wheel. So I got rose glimmer paper one day. And then this is another pillow gift. And you know, I'm realizing we got this really cute, um, like a puffy vest that went with this and I've already hung it up in my closet. I forgot to set it aside so I could show you. It's real cute. So this is called, what is, mercury glass. And it's kind of a mixture, kind of a combination, see that, of a window sheet and foil. So it's like mercury glass, very interesting. I thought that was really cool. All right, so that's in the new holiday catalog. One day we came in and we had these beautiful bags. This is like a little fancy backpack. Uh, my daughter's already said she wants it, see, in the back. But I just think that's really pretty. That could be a purse, don't you think? It's leathery, I don't know if it's real leather, but it feels like it, very pretty. And then when we were at general session, of course, they always give the, achie the uh, I'm sorry, not achiever, but the guest something, the husbands or sisters or friends or whoever comes with the, uh, the, the trip achiever. And this year it was a, um, you know, one of these drawstring bags, which my girls were all over. They want this bad. So my husband probably will never get to use it. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Let's look at the stamp sets that I got. Um, this one... Wonder, most Wonderful Time is actually a product medley. Do you guys remember that everything is rosy in May? That's what this is. And these were the make and takes that we made with it. And it all comes in one, one price, one product. You can't order it all separately, just like everything was rosy. Some tinsel. Um, oh, I don't, I think this was. I think the Jingle Bells were not part of it. I think these were from the Spin the Wheel um, one day, but look at those. I love putting Jingle Bells on my projects. So that doesn't belong in there. All right, let's see, here's one of the cards. Cute little three by three. And then this one with those tinsel trees. And this one, I love this. Look how we put the little bow on the deer. So cute. And those are just part of the, the kit. And it's one of those open-ended kits, again, you guys, that doesn't have projects. It just has a lot of coordinating product. Um, you can see all of these stickers that go with it. Um, the little deer. And then just some pieces of foil paper. More stickers. And then the designer series paper, of course, which is all gold foil. And then the stamps and the dies. So this would be a really great one to get if you want to sit down and just make a ton of Christmas cards. There's a stamp set and then matching dies. Most wonderful time. There are also some gold stars right here. And they're stickers, but they're three-dimensional. They're really neat. 
and I think that's it. So now you guys are gonna have to forgive me because I haven't studied the catalog and I don't know the names and everything, but I'm just showing you what we got. All right, can I get this back in here? I haven't, it's been kind of nice. I just took it all and put it in a basket because I knew I wanted to show you guys. I haven't had to worry about organizing. So now after today, I'm gonna have to actually organize. All right, perfectly plaid. And we got some punches. I can't remember, is this one of the punches we got? Yeah, yeah. Look at, I love this tree right here. And there's the punch that goes with it. We all love a punch, don't we? And a matching stamp, very cute. Tags, tags, tags. Now this one is really cool because it comes with a die that is connected to one die. And you can see how these are connected also. So you would just like mass produce your tag, stamp, 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 and then you lay that one die across, cut those out, cut those out, cut those out. So really cool, really, really cool, really smart thinking. Um, 12 Christmas, this goes with that first pack of paper I showed you. This is what we got, did we get this? I can't remember, in general session, I think we all got this one. It's a beautiful cardinal. Um, greatest part of Christmas, this is a great set. It's a host set that'll be in the holiday catalog. Look at those beautiful sentiments. Really good, just one of those big uh, sentiment sets. For those of you, Terry, I'm talking to you, who love sentiments, my friend Terry loves, that's the first thing she looks at and she reads all the sentiments and I'm guilty of not even looking at them, only looking at the images. And then Itty Bitty Christmas, how cute, another sentiment set but smaller. All right, see the difference? These would be like your, your focal point sentiments or inside your cards. And then these are just smaller to go around, go along with images. Very, very cool. Um, this catalog is fantastic. I know we always say that, but truly fantastic. Here's some more of the little tags. Did we already look at these? These are what were just clipped to all of our little gifts, so cute. Um, okay, so then you might have seen me post about the, we got these dimensionals attached to something one day and I didn't really look at them, but then I was thinking, what, what are those magnets? Cause I could see that they were black. And then I realized that they're black dimensionals. Look at that. So this is for all of those dark pieces of cardstock that you have. That white dimensional will not show on the edge. I know sometimes people will take their black Sharpie and color the edges of their dimensionals and now you don't have to do that. So black dimensionals, the package has two regular, two uh, sheets of regular dimensionals and two sheets of many dimensionals. Really cool and something I never would have thought of. I don't know if you guys can see my, <laughs> work surface has that those pigment sprinkles we're going to use today i should have cleaned the, the counter sorry all right and then this was my favorite spin the wheel um prize these and i don't know the name cup of cheer maybe is that right let me tell you let me look yeah oh i was right cup of cheer so of course little coffee cups and the stamps are super cool they're reversible so you can stamp it peel it off turn it around and stamp it the other way so really versatile love the candy cane just really a good set i didn't get the stamps that i just got the dies um but i know that's most likely going to be a class because i love it so much it's very cute um, oh, here's something else I got. I don't remember. Did we get these in general session and all attendee giveaway? We had a general session the first day where we all go and we see some stamping and Sarah Douglas, our CEO, talks to us about, you know, different things and then they just give away prizes because what kind of event would it be if it didn't have prizes? So these are little foil, foil elements. Hello, everybody who's jumped on. I am sorry, I'm being... I'm distracted. Let's see. They're not stickers. They're just really delicate foil pieces. Nice. Very nice. Very fancy. Very fancy. Okay. Now this bag, do you recognize the paper? It's that perennial essence. Is that what it's called? Our designer series paper in the annual catalog. And it's this really cute makeup bag or tool bag and oh here's some ribbon that I got 
for prizes. I forgot I put it in there. But look, this is like like a little train case. I think that that's what they call them with their little, you know, put your makeup in, has a handle on the top and square or rectangle. But I think that this would be a good tool case too. I don't know if I would actually, if I'll actually use it for makeup. Let's see if I can zip that top part. But inside our punches fit really well. That's where I have this punch. Look at that, like a glove. And then this was the other set of punches that I got. And of course, yes, there's a stamp set that goes with them that I will get on August 1st as soon as I can order from the new catalog. So how do you earn a Stampin' Up! incentive trip? Well, it's a combination of what we call um, flex points. You earn them with sales, with promotions, um, leadership and when you reach a magical number of 160 you get to cash them in for a free trip and uh, it's it's not easy to get to 160 um, it takes a lot of work but let me tell you it is worth it in one when you take your husband one time he is on board and he will help you earn <laughs> those 160 thousand flex points um, every year it is a really nice nice perk Let's see, did I miss anything? I got these one day, but we've seen these. Everything had this sticker on it, I guess from customs. <laughs> they went through Germany. Um, the last night, we got this little box, which is beautiful. And then one of these bracelets that's like the Alex and Ani bracelets, which I have a bunch of. So I'm really excited. But I did hear that this needs to be soldered on or something so that we don't lose it. But isn't that cute? Little Alex and Ani bracelet. I never wear them for my videos because they make a lot of noise. Maybe one day I'll wear them and show you. That's my favorite pillow gift right there. Okay, how about swaps? Would you like to see the swaps? Today we're gonna make my swap um, that I made for the trip. So I'll just real quickly go through the swaps. And I don't know really who they are. I mean, some of them are labeled, but they we just put all of our swaps in this giant box and then the wonderful ladies swap them all out for us and hand us a bag full of swaps. This I know, this is my friend Ange McKay, one of my Stampin' Besties. That's her card, isn't that gorgeous? And that one, that's with the stamps that we're using, the Seaside Notions today. Now, wait, I gotta open this. This is really fancy. I have just really kind of looked through them. Oh, look at that. So it's a little accordion box. So cute. All right, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Who did this one? Sherry Robinson. All right, Sherry, I'm setting that aside because I need to make that one for sure. I love a 3D, 3D swap. Beautiful, those banded dies. I love this one too. Fanny. Min, mini, min, gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's a fun one, let's see, what does it do? I don't know, I should have done this ahead of time. Oh, I see, wow, really neat. That is really cool. Beautiful, I love this one. By the way, today is the last day to sign up for the Follow Your Art class. Look at that, I have this on my list for Facebook Friday one day. That's so beautiful. I'm gonna set that aside too. All right, ooh, black and white. I always love black and white. Look at that, that looks familiar. We've done something similar to that, but I like the shimmer on the birds. Here's one, this beautiful flower that I didn't think I was gonna like, and now I'm seeing it everywhere and I love it. I like that ribbon right there too. Here's this one, some of the fancy foil. Um, this guy, I love this stamp. Have you guys noticed? This is the only new Christmas stamp we have in the catalog. I love it. I was thinking about doing a Christmas class in August. We'll see. That's very pretty. Now, this is one we're going to case today from Jen Pitta. She um, is from New England, right, Jen? Uh, she's probably not watching, but yeah, she's up in the New England area. And I pulled her card and we're going to case it today because I had already designed two projects with this and I loved it. Now, here's... I don't know why this is in here, but I think this is a case too, and I don't know where the original is, but I made that and then I decided we weren't gonna make it. Beautiful friendship. Mary Ellen, that's beautiful. There's our cute little birds. And this stamp set, I keep looking at, I need to use it. And I think this is from Kylie, isn't it? Kylie, yeah, Kylie and Bruno. 
I can tell because it's a different size from ours. Beautiful friendship. Did you guys see my Facebook Friday with a beautiful friendship? Three projects. It's there for you. Hopefully you guys took a look at it. All right, we're almost done, but I want to show you some of the other goodies I got. Um, these were things that I bought. My husband and I bought, many years ago started, um, I don't know, what do you call it? The, uh, we just, we, tradition, that's the word I'm looking for. We started the tradition that we are going to buy a magnet every place we go and look how many we got. <laughs> so many this time so we have on the side of our fridge we have all these magnets of all the places we went and my daughter brought one home from the golden gate bridge and then in august we're going to the caribbean so we're going to even add more but it's a fun little tradition um that we started um to kind of just reminisce about our um our trips we got a new fridge uh like in march and so we had to take them all down and my daughter was putting them putting them all back up when we got the new fridge and she was like oh remember this remember that it was fun reminiscing it's a good way to remember your your trips now I have to show you this there's this thing and I don't know the official name um, but in Greece you can see it right here they have this eye that um, they hang up in their house on the wall opposite the front door and it is to protect them from evil or something so you see the eye everywhere of course so i bought my pandora charm this is my travel pandora bracelet and i bought my uh, pandora charm to go on there with the eye but i wanted something to hang on the wall here in my office and this um glass was everywhere this beautiful glass and when I found this one this is exactly what I wanted and we got it home without breaking it I was so happy and there's I got a little bowl too I just I'm just so like in awe how they could capture the water like that's exactly what the water looks like in Greece can you guys see that I mean it's just so beautiful so so beautiful so anyway those are just two of the things that I bought in um this was in catacalone and this one was in uh mykonos i believe or maybe yeah mykonos and then i mean my husband was carrying this stuff around the airport in the duffel bag i felt really bad <laughs> but look at this this is what santorini looked like um with all the white um houses with the blue roofs so of course i had to get um something to remind me of that um it has this little you put a candle in here and it has this little thing that goes here. So I have to find a special spot for that. I love to buy things that will remind me of the special trip, you know? And then this one is the windmills from Mykonos. Um, they have these old historic windmills that used to, you know, were, used to be actually um, actual working windmills that, oh, you know, process the grain or whatever. And now they're little hotels you can stay in, but everybody goes and takes a picture. And so when I saw that, I had to get it. My poor husband carrying all that through the airport and me saying, don't break anything. One last thing to hang on my wall, the blue door. It was just so pretty, you guys. Everything was so pretty. The colors. <sighs> I, You know, what's funny is that I got an email from Groupon yesterday group on um, getaways and it was a nine to ten day night Greece tour and I was like oh maybe we should go back it's only a thousand dollars anyways uh, if you ever have the chance to go to Greece you will not regret it it was amazing and if you ever get the chance to go on a Stampin' Up! trip it will change you it will change your life I'm telling you it will change you um, anyways it is really just I mean, I don't mean to gush, but an honor really to be able to earn that and to go on that and to be spoiled. So, all right. So that's all of the stuff that I wanted to show you. For those of you who are waiting for me to stamp, I'm sorry it's taking me a while to get there today. Let me get everything out of the way and tell you a few more things. And then, yes, I have three projects for you. Now, like I said, this is the holiday catalog. We got it on the trip. It does not come out till September 4th. However, if you are a demonstrator, you can order from it beginning August 1st. I can't show you the inside of it, but I can show you the front of it. There are these, there's this snowman bundle um, that has a little embellishment kit that has felt pieces, the hat, the mittens, the um, 
scarf and then a sticker sheet that has the carrot nose the buttons and the arms you can see some of it here it's crazy crazy cute and then there's that beautiful beautiful paper that i love so much so if you're interested in getting this if you are ready to get your hands on some holiday stuff you probably want to take advantage of the extra extra starter kit deal um, normally the starter kit is $99 and you choose $125 of anything you want from the current catalog but right now in July and August you get 30 extra dollars so $155 for just $99 plus free shipping and a $10 coupon to spend next month crazy right I mean very generous so if you've thought about the starter kit Truly, this is a very good time to do it. Um, if you have questions or curious or you wanna do it right now, you can message me. I will add a link when we're done today to my starter kit page. There are tons of benefits other than getting to order from this early. You get 20% off all your future purchases. Um, plus you get all my PDFs for free. You get my class to goes at a discount. You get to be a part of my team. I could go on forever, but I won't. Just know that it's there, and I welcome every kind of stamper to my team, whether you just want to join for the discount or you actually want to try to work and earn an incentive trip. Everybody is always welcome to my team. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. It's getting hot in here. In the summer, my office gets terribly hot. A couple of other things I need to tell you about. Sales tax holiday. Some states, and I'm gonna, is it, it's not backwards, is it? So let's see if you guys can see these dates. Some states do a sales tax holiday on school supplies before school starts. And there are Stampin' Up! things that are included in this, um, this school sales tax holiday, including snail, um, dimensionals, grid paper, scissors, tear and tape, tons of stuff. Here's the list. So if you live in any of these states, it, the, th the problem is that it's all different weeks. One is this Alabama's this weekend, Arkansas is the third and fourth. Instead of trying to tell you about everything, <laughs> because you all live in different states, I'm gonna link this, um, what am I trying to say? This document at the top of this video today so you can check out. This is a great way to st uh, stock up on your basics, your adhesive to get to get them tax free, okay? So I'll, I will link that. Also, I wanna mention Paper Pumpkin. Oh, you know what? You guys, I have extra Paper Pumpkin kits that I am not gonna use. This month's July and June's, I have two each. If you're interested in those, please message me. I meant to pull them out and show you, but I didn't. Now, August's Paper Pumpkin kit is gonna be fall. Hello, finally fall. Um, I know, summer, I don't like summer, you guys. Um, they're doing something different this time. You're going to be able to, to get an add-on. They're 3D items in August, um, but you can do an add-on bundle that's going to give you a whole nother kit to use your stamp set to make cards. Um, so if you're interested in that information, I'm going to link this too. I'm going to add a whole bunch of different links to the video. Last but not least, bonus days. For every $50 you spend in July, you earn a $5 coupon to spend in August. Okay? Okay. I think we're ready. Gosh, that's the longest I've talked ever. That's really long. I don't have to pick up anybody from school today, so no rush. Let me get this in the camera. Does it need to come down further? Looks like it needs to come over a little bit. So today, we're gonna make three projects using Seaside Notions. I love this stamp set. I love a good ocean stamp set, and I love the way these are drawn, and I love the, the um, font of the sentiments. So we're gonna make a box and we're gonna do my swap card. This was my swap card for the trip. And then we're going to case Jen's card, okay? If you have never joined me for Facebook Friday or you forgot, go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and you can get this PDF right here. Here is everything that I've used and the measurements. You're gonna need the measurements for the box. And then on this page are some announcements like today's the last day to register for this class. And then starting tomorrow, look, my new class will be listed, Dino Days. Look, so cute. Anyways, there's sneak peek on there. And then there's a link for the starter kit. 
So you can click on those links or type them in. There are little links um, to find that information. Okay, so pinkbuckaroo.com. Also, the host code for any orders you want to put in to get these projects for free. Oh my gosh, let's stamp. And we're going to start with my swap. I always feel very intimidated when it's time to make my swap for an incentive trip. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna turn the fan up just one little notch. Um, if it makes the camera do weird things, tell me and I'll turn it down because it is hot in here. I know you guys are sweltering too. Everywhere is super hot. So when you make a swap card for an incentive trip, you know you're making, you're gonna swap with some of the best demonstrators in the company, so the pressure is on. This is what I came up with this year, and I like it. I hope that they liked it too. Um, let's see, where do we wanna start? We actually need some grid paper, don't we? Because we're gonna do some splattering on that background, so let me pull. Is the camera rolling? You guys tell me. Oh, it is, I can see it. I'll turn it down. I'll sweat it out for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to start with just a regular card base, Bermuda Bay. God, I feel like I'm out of practice. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been gone for two weeks. All right, we're going to get the seahorse. He's so cute. And we're going to stamp him once right here in Bermuda Bay and once kind of down here. And then we're going to take our dark... Bermuda Bay stamp and blend and just flick it a few times like that. Then I'm gonna take, did I, oh no, I'm just gonna use the lid. I'm gonna take some shimmer white paint. Thanks, Sue, I'm glad you like it. Some shimmer white paint, I'm just gonna get out of the lid and I'm gonna flick it on here with my aqua painter. Kind of like bubbles, right? And I need to wash that when I'm done. I don't, let me put that there so I don't forget. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna set that over there, let it dry. And let's get a Whisper White stitched circle. And I'm gonna just take the coral. Now, I'm no coral expert, just like I tell you guys when I do other plants that I don't know what they're called. So don't flame me if I'm coloring it the wrong color. I'm just making it pretty. I stamped it in Bermuda Bay, and I'm gonna take my dark pool party um, blend and color it in. Um, my card is going to have Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana, but we don't have Coastal Cabana stamp and blend, so pool party is the next best thing. And it's kind of in the background, so. So I'm gonna color that in with the bullet tip of my Stampin' Blend because I'm super messy with the brush tip. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take it and do a little doot, doot, doot. I'm gonna get that Bermuda Bay light and just do a little, just, I don't know, some, some texture, some polka dots, okay? So there we've got that. Now we're gonna stamp the sentiment. And this oval, you'll notice on the supply list that I put the fancy, <laughs> that's not what they're called, the fancy bands, what are they called? Um, detailed band dies, because I'm using the oval from that die set. I'm not actually using the bands, the fancy bands. I'm just using that oval because I liked how skinny it was. If you don't have those, you can use your layering ovals would be fine too. Okay, now one thing I will say, and I, I know I had the crumb cake ink somewhere. One thing I will say about the stamp set is I wish it had dies. This is one of those where I'm like, come on, we need the dies. Now it does keep the price down when it doesn't have dies because then all you have to do is buy the stamp set and you have to use your good old fashioned hands to fussy cut. So we're just gonna fussy cut. Now, if you happen to have an electronic cutter that will scan and cut, you could do that. However, I have one and it only works about 20% of the time. <laughs> it does not work very well. I find I waste a lot of time trying to get it to work. Okay, now I've also used the, um, my goodness, I can't remember anything today. Let me look, smooth sailing dies, you know, the new nautical set to cut this little seaweed out of vellum. 
And let me pull over my adhesive. I'm going to put a glue dot on the front of it and then attach it to the back like that. Okay, and then we'll get dimensionals. Thanks for sharing, you guys. Oh, I'm glad you like the pictures from Greece. It was hard because we just were going, going, going all the time. Um, and sometimes we didn't have very good internet and I wanted to edit the pictures. And so hopefully you guys were able to see enough in, in you know, close to real time so that you would know what we were doing over there in Greece. It was probably the best, well, no, I can't say that because Mediterranean cruise was pretty amazing as well. But we had four stops on a seven day cruise. I think that's great because when you only have three stops on a seven day cruise, you're doing a lot of nothing on the ship, which we don't like. We like to go, go, go. So this was a good one. All right, now we're gonna do the high tide. No, let me tell you the right name. Oh, you know what? I don't I don't have it on my printout. It is on the on the one linked on my blog. High Tide, is that what this one's called, you guys? High Tide Embossing Folder. It's one of the 3D folders, and you're gonna need not your magnetic platform, just your regular base if you're using a Big Shot, and you're gonna need this new platform, or this new plate. With our 3D embossing folders, you need this plate. It's $10. If you're big on embossing, just add it onto your next order because you're gonna need it, and yes, I tried to cheat and not use it. I tried to make a sandwich that would work and it was very difficult. Could not really come up with anything. So just add it to your next order, okay? If you're gonna use our 3D embossing folders with a Big Shot. Now, you can see the waves in here, right? So I took my scissors and just cut along those waves. Um, while we're talking about embossing folders, I have mentioned it before, but I'm still getting lots of questions. Um, the 3D embossing folders that we had in the previous catalog were unavailable because we were switching vendors. So the only ones you could order were the new 3D embossing folders. And now you can order the I don't want to use the word old, but the returning 3D embossing folders, and I believe you can order almost all of them. So just know that if it's not in the online store, it's because it hasn't it hasn't made it yet, <laughs> but it's on its way. With this big transition that we're doing um, with a new new die cut machine, um, we we've. Um, switch to a new vendor to make our, our all of our die cutting and embossing um, products. So there's been some, you know, some transitional issues and those 3D embossing folders was one of the transitional issues. Um, so please be patient with us as we do that. But um, you can see which ones are available just by going to the online store, okay? Um, Peggy, I see you, please message me, okay? Because I'm gonna forget. Mess send me a message. All right, so see what I did? I cut that out, and it looks like I used dimensionals on that, but we're just gonna do it flat. And I'm just gonna do it like that. And I was able to, when I made my swaps, that was just a quarter sheet of cardstock, and I was able to actually get three of these out of one sheet, okay? We made 25 swaps, in case you're interested, um, for the trip. I actually made 26, I take that back, I made 26. Hi C, Sarah, thank you. What did I call it, High Tide? High C's embossing folder. It's on the supply list. I actually went back and added it in just a little while ago, but I didn't reprint my list. Okay, so that was cute, right? We're done. And then I thought, no, it needs something else. And I looked through all my embellishments and I thought, hey, what about this? Now it's a flower and this is an under the sea card, but it totally works, doesn't it? It's like a little starfish or something. So look at your embellishments, you guys. They don't have to be exactly what they're <laughs> intended for. It doesn't have to be a flower. It can be an underwater, shiny, sparkly starfish. I thought it went really well with that. 
<laughs> it's funny what happens late at night when you are looking through your embellishments and your stamps and your dies especially you can really turn those into something different all right one last thing is a linen thread bow and I'm just going to add this on with a glue dot. Aw, thanks guys. I hope you like this card. You know, it was one of those I didn't like it at first. Where do I want to put this? And then the more it sat there on my desk, I was like, I kind of do like it. And now I really like it. It has lots of different elements, don't you think? Now we're going to, this is kind of a more difficult card, I would say. It's not your simple card. I did make 25 of them, and it, or 26 of them, and it wasn't terribly hard. But the card we're going to make in a little while is much simpler. Um, a much simpler way to use the stamp set. So stay tuned for that. We'll get to that in a minute. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I hope you do because I thought it was pretty cute. All right, let me switch over. And you know what? I did have my Wink of Stella. I think I did a little bit of this too. A little flicking of the Wink of Stella. It's a clear as opposed to the frost white. Isn't that pretty? Just, you know, bubbles and all kinds of stuff. All right, let's move this out of the way. Oh my goodness, it's so toasty in here. Next step, we're gonna make a box using the pigment sprinkles. Now, pigment sprinkles, you may not have seen them in the catalog. They are basically what we were calling brusho in the last catalog. And in fact, I'm gonna pull this catalog out and show you because they're kind of in a weird place. And if you guys were around when Brusho first came out, I was scared of it. I loved it and I couldn't wait to use it, but then I was really scared to use it on a Facebook Live because it's very, very, very messy. But it is so fun and addicting. Okay, right here in your catalog, 179, where all the blends are and the pencils and there they are, right there. See them? Pigment sprinkles, $23. The difference this time, uh, well, see right here, I, the, I think they're messier, I will tell you that. And I think the reason why they're messier than Brusho is because I think the powder is even finer than Brusho. When I first did them, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you, you guys, I had it everywhere. On my shirt, on my face, there's even now Melon Mambo on my fan um, switch over there. <laughs> Yes, I had it on my fingers. So what I highly recommend you do when you're gonna do brush -o, don't be afraid of it because it really is fun, but wear an apron over your clothes. And one thing I like to do is to get press and seal and cover my workspace with press and seal. And then to take it even a step further, which I have them right here and I don't know where they went. Oh, right here. If you at the grocery store, we'll just get like food handling gloves wear those because then you just throw them away. Um, so that's what I recommend. I'm not gonna do all of that today for this project. I'm gonna be super brave and we're gonna just go for it. And I am wearing a white shirt, but that's the other thing. <laughs> Last time I used it, I was wearing a brand new white t-shirt and I got hot pink melon mambo all over my belly, of course, but it came out. I washed it with bleach, came right out. So I think that means they're washable, I think, but don't be intimidated, just, you know, get messy. All right, so here it is. You can see it at the top of our box. And I'm gonna show you some other examples of the brush up. Nope, I called it brush up, the pigment sprinkles. I just played around with it one day and the colors are Stampin' Up! colors. Brush up was not Stampin' Up! colors. Um, they were kind of funky colors from like the brush -O brand that was an outside brand. These are actually Stampin' Up! colors, so you know that they're gonna match with your Stampin' Up! stuff. Um, the green and the yellow, I mean, they're very bright. This one, I use way too much. So again, you have gotta go sparingly with your pigment sprinkles. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Just beautiful. So I highly encourage you to get the brush -O if you like to mess around and be kind of messy and artsy. Um, because I think even if you already have brush out, this is a great addition because they're completely different colors. So what's inside this box, you may be asking. The, you've seen this box before. We've done this box before. It is this, remember, this clamshell box. And it's a Hostess cupcake. And it's a mermaid cupcake from Hostess. And I have the box. Let me look one more place. No, I 
had a brand new box of them. I think my kids ate them. <laughs> I think they ate them. But the box is really cute. I wanted to show you the box from Walmart. Hostess Cupcakes for the summer. Um, I've linked... I couldn't find them on walmart.com, so I found a link on Amazon. So you can click over there on my blog to actually see what the box looks like. And then um, Walmart. And I've seen them other places too. They were pretty easy to find, okay? So mermaid cupcakes, of course. Of course we need mermaid cupcakes. So let's do, what do we wanna do first? Let's do the box first because we might get messy. And then we'll do the brush out last because I, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I have a piece that's already dry. All right, so you need, why does my office look like a bomb has gone off? You need a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. And remember, I'm going to need to look at it too. All of this is over on the PDF right here at the bottom, okay? Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures 11 by 7 and a half. We're going to score the long side at 2 and a half, 5. Let's move these so we don't get confused. Two and a half and five, seven and a half and ten, and then the short side at two and a half and five. All right, so put this back where it goes. Now I wonder if I have a bone folder. Well, look at that, I do. The last time we did this box, I believe it was a St. Patrick's cupcake. A St. Patrick's Day Hostess Cupcake. I like the Hostess Cupcakes and the Little Debbie Snacks because they are cheap. If you need to do a bunch of them, you know, a box of six or eight is only a couple dollars. Makes for a nice little treat. Okay, this box is easy, you guys. All you're going to do along the long side is snip. Oops, I did a terrible job with that. That's super, super crooked. But we're gonna, we're just gonna pretend like it didn't happen. We're just gonna keep going. Jet lag has been an issue <laughs> this week. Weirdly, um, and I'm finding that my fellow trip achievers are saying the same thing. We're all waking up about 3 a.m. Wide awake because over in Greece, you know, that was middle of the afternoon. Um, so, and then, so then I'm super tired at three o'clock in the afternoon here, try to take a nap. It's just been crazy, but I do feel better today, but still that fog brain. Do you guys get that? Even without jet lag, I get fog brain, but it seems to be worse when I am jet lagged. Okay. So here we've got all of these just cut like this. I'm going to put adhesive on these end ones first, and we're going to fold those in. Okay, then down here, we're gonna put adhesive on the outside of the skinny tabs, okay? Fold that up like that. That's gonna create the little lip for your cupcake so it doesn't fall out of the box when you open it. And then we're gonna put some adhesive on this one. And we're gonna fold it up. It looks weird right now, I know. Fold it like that, and like that. Okay, so that's what you have right now. It's very thick and bulky, so now we're gonna cut these at an angle. And it gets a little bit awkward to try to cut it, but you can do it. Corner to corner, as I used to tell my kindergartners. Cut it corner to corner. Just like that. And same here, except this time we're gonna start at that lip and cut it up to the corner. Okay. And like that. And there you have your little clamshell box for your, oh look, I need to put more adhesive on that. Your clamshell, let's fix that your clamshell box for your mermaid cupcake that I am making a huge mess of, but you get it right, you see what it is. There we go. There we go, that's better. All right, I've got one cupcake. Who knows where the rest, no, I do know where the rest are. Those little thieves that live here. 
They love to come in my office when they want something sweet. They know where the sweets are. All right, and there we have it. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's do, let's do our stamping, because I'm telling you, I'm gonna get that Melon Mambo everywhere. Um, I need my chamois. Now, those of you who ordered, um, I had a special. I was in Greece for two weeks. If you ordered and your order was over $50, I was going to send you a stamp cleaner, which is our new um, cleaning option for your stamps. I'm going to stamp that in memento. Hopefully my paper is big enough. And this one in memento. Um, so those of you who ordered while I was in Greece, thank you, first off. Um, and they're all going out. I have them packed and ready, and I meant to put them in the mail today, and I didn't. So either this afternoon, I have to go pick up oh, a rental car. My car is in the shop. But um, on the way, I will drop them at the post office. Okay, so we're going to use this label punch, the long and skinny, right here. Here's to you. And then we're going to color our, what's, what's this called, seahorse? I just wanted to call him a sea dragon. <laughs> He's not a sea dragon, he is a seahorse. And I'm not gonna get real fancy with my blends here because it's going on a treat box um, and that treat box is gonna be devoured. So the person, because they're gonna wanna get to that snack and I don't think it needs too much fancy coloring. Am I right, you guys? I mean, it's all about what's inside the box to them. To us, maybe it's about how cute it is, but I'm gonna take just a little bit of the dark Highland Heather and just do a little, you know, like that. Okay, once again, I will mention there are no dyes. So we have to get creative and use what God has given us to use the scissors. We're going old school like we used to do before we all had die cut machines. And this guy is not terribly easy to cut out, I won't lie. He's got a lot of little turns in him, but just stay on the outside of those. Keep that white cloud around the edge. See how I'm not getting real down deep in those, those little edges, I'm just kind of mimicking it a little bit on the outside white edge. Seems like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. Hmm. Next week is going to be my online BOGO sale, probably towards the end of the week. So be looking for that. BOGO is buy one, get one free. You'll be able to pick out from all my retired stuff what you want for free. And then you go to my online store and you order the equal amount in new product and I mail you all the free stuff. It's an awesome deal. Help me get rid of my retired stuff. My husband is very unhappy with the amount of retired boxes in the garage. So normally I, I price my retired items at full price. Not this year, you guys. Not this year. They're all much lower because I really need to make some room. So if you want a bargain, you need to come back next week. I promise I'm going to have some bargains for you, okay? All right, I think it's time for the mess. Let's get this. I feel like I need to put on a hazmat suit <laughs> when I do this. And I don't like doing it with all this stuff here. Um, and I keep saying that, but I promise you I really do love this pigment, these pigment sprinkles. So the colors we have are Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple, mang Mango, I, don't, I feel like that's wrong. Yeah, no, Mango, Melody, what we're gonna use, Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, and Daffodil Delight, okay? And if you remember Brush Show, the, the lid was weird, you had to put a push pin in it. Well, these are just like your spice shakers, okay? See, it's got a, I don't even wanna open it right now. I should put those gloves on. See, it's just like your spice sugar. So I have taken a piece, of, a new piece of our watercolor paper. We have new watercolor paper, it's great. Taped it all down um, onto just a piece of chipboard so that it doesn't curl up when I get it wet. And I've got a spritzer here filled with water and I'm just gonna spritz it. 
And then I'm just going to take this and remind me, it needs to be your mantra, less is more. Less is way more. <laughs> way more, you guys. I'm telling you, if you think you need to add more, step away from the sprinkles. Now, my problem, what I like to do is add too much water. See, there's like a clump there and I want to spritz it. But if you add too much water, then you lose. See how it, oh, see how like the, these little colors, they separate and it's just so, so beautiful. So what I recommend is letting it dry. You can even kind of spread them around. Look at it. Isn't that, I mean, I, I don't know if the color is coming through for you guys, but it is gorgeous. Okay, leave it alone, walk away. Now, when you're done and it's totally dry, get a wet, not a wet paper towel, get a paper towel and brush all that extra into the trash. Try to, because there will be residual um, little sprinkles and you'll get it on your hands and get it on your shirt and you'll get it on your light switch like me. So just do that because you can see there's a little bit of a clump there, but look at that effect. I mean, you can't, you really can't get that effect anywhere else. Isn't that gorgeous love it and then put it in a safe spot to let it dry if you're like me and you live in a sunny climate where it's hot go set it in your driveway and it'll be dry in like five minutes okay so because of i'm prepared look i already have one done um i cut this out with the um, stitched shape square it's the third largest so not the biggest one the next one down and i cut out a mango melody scalloped Square. And we're going to put that right there. We're going to use dimensionals, of course. Pigment sprinkles. Pigment sprinkles are the best. Yeah, Darcy, the jars are much easier than the brusho jars, for sure. Um, I think Stampin' Up! learned how to improve it, you know, um, by using the brusho um, jars. It's just, you just gotta like protect your work surface, protect your clothing, protect everything. All right, so some dimensionals now. I'm distracted, I forgot what we were doing. Start reading comments and I get distracted. Okay, so we're gonna do our cute little seahorse there. And the white sand dollar, we didn't have to cut him. And then I think I need a mini dimensional for the sentiment. And then we're gonna add, here's to you. Uh oh, I need another one. We're gonna add a bow using the Crush Curry Crinkled Seam Binding. And I'll tell you something funny. When I first got it, I thought it was Mango Melody. And that's why I was using it with everything Mango Melody, but it's not, it's Crush Curry. But hey, it goes just fine, don't you think? They're not the same, but they coordinate. And they're funky and they're bright and I like them both. Crush Curry doesn't have to be a fall color. To all of you Crush Curry haters out there, I know that there are some of you saying, oh, Crush Curry. I love it. In certain projects. All right, so my kids are home and they're probably all on the internet. I hope that we're not too glitchy today. I didn't tell them to get off the internet. My daughter, my poor oldest daughter, had her wisdom teeth taken out Wednesday and she is, she is still hurting up there laying in bed so I didn't want to take her internet away too all right there you go a little clamshell box with a mermaid cupcake featuring seaside notions Do you guys like it that'd make that'd be a fun treat for a pool party don't you think just a little summer party favor okay one more project let me grab it and then we'll be done seaside notions have any of you ordered it yet it's a really cute set it's $23, let me look at my list. $23 has 11 stamps. And look, we're using all but two. Hmm. I like when I design projects that use almost all the stamps. Because sometimes we have stamp sets that have stamps that we don't use very much, right? I try to avoid that. Okay, so Jen Pitta, or Pita, I don't know. Jen, I'm sorry. I'm casing your card, it's super cute. I've changed it a little bit to use some things that I have on hand. And you guys will see that this is much simpler um, than the previous two projects. And uses different stamps. We're gonna start with a piece of very vanilla. And we're gonna clean our stamp. Where did it 
go. There it is with our chamois. And we're going to go back to Bermuda Bay. I know, Christine, me too. I know, but we can fussy cut just as quickly as we can get up and find the dye and do all that. It's not a it's not a, a, a showstopper that it doesn't have dyes. We just would like to have them, right? All right, now some sand, some little sand in crumb cake. It's a good little texture stamp. And then we're gonna take a Stampin' Sponge and some of that crumb cake and ink the edges. I used to do this to every project I did. I used to ink the edges of everything. It was really popular, maybe like 10 years ago. I haven't done it in a while, but I like the way it looks on this card. Okay, now we're going to layer it up on a piece of crumb cake. Dimensions of these pieces are on the PDF. Hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll find it under the last photo. There we go. All right, very vanilla this time, not Whisper White. I tend to only use Whisper White these days, but I think very vanilla looks better on this card than Whisper White. All right, so we've got the shell. Now here is a new punch. And I would say who can name it, but I can't hear you guys. Who can name it? Before I look it up, I can't remember. It is the Timeless Label Punch. Cute, right? And we're gonna say happy birthday right there. And now all we have to do is cut and assemble. This would you call well, now I'm not even gonna ask. I don't know. I don't know the name of things. If it's not a stampin' up tool or color, I don't know the name of it. Would this be a conch shell? I don't know. Who knows? Somebody on here, I'm sure, is a seashell expert. Not me. I also made a bunch of these yesterday for my team birthday cards for August. Look at this, here's the Peacock, Noble Peacock foil. And I'm going to layer it on a Starburst, Vellum Starburst, put that there. And then over here, Here's a little piece of the Crumb Cake Designer Series paper from the Crumb Cake Packs. It is, did I write that down? I think it's one and a half by three. Yeah, one and a half by three. I'm just gonna cut off that end at an angle. And I'm just gonna run some adhesive like that. Put that right there. Put that right there. Get a dimensional. And the shell right there. One more dimensional. I feel like a flight attendant. And right here, last but not least, is your Magnolia Lane ribbon. I know, Magnolia Lane. This isn't a Magnolia Lane project, but that's okay, the ribbon goes. So we're gonna use it. Tie us a little bow, get my good scissors. Cut that off, cut that off, and the glue dot, and we're done. There we go, right like that. Happy birthday. See how easy that one was? I love it. So thank you, Jen, for letting me case your card. I love it. All right, you guys, so let's review, and then I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> how many of you still have jet lag? I can see some of you on here who were in Greece with me. I don't know if I'm blaming jet lag or just me being lazy. I don't know. How long can you claim jet lag? All right, so today we made three projects with the Seaside Notion stamp set. Remember that if you put it in order between now and Monday at midnight, you don't have to order this. Guys, When you to get this stuff for free, you can order anything you want. Um, I don't even look at what you order. I just look to see that you use the host code and that your order was over $30. 
Now, if you decide you want to stock up and you your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. Plus, I'm still going to send these to you. Okay, so you'll get these for free. If your order is over fifty dollars, you're going to get a five dollar coupon from Stampin' Up to send uh, to spend in August, and you're also going to get this month's tutorial bundle for free. All right, okay, you guys, we're done today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked all my things from Greece. Thank you for helping to send me there. It's because of all of you and my amazing team that I got to take advantage of. of you know, trip of a lifetime with my husband. So I am grateful, um, truly. I don't mean to sound, um, I don't know. I mean, truly, I do truly feel that way. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Stay tuned next week for the BOGO sale for details. I haven't ironed them out. That's why I don't have them yet, but it's coming next week. And many of you have been asking me about it, so watch for next week, okay? Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.